Hello, hello. All right, everything working, everything working. We need some game sound, that should make sure. <laughs> Please, game, if you'd be so kind to load. There we are. Hello! Welcome! Welcome back to Zelda. <clears throat> Let's see. I think today we're going to hunt some shrines. I need to find my little map. I had a little map somewhere. At least tell me. We're starting the in the bottom right, maybe. <laughs> Let's see what layer am I on here? Ooh, there's so many things. Hey, Baba, how's it going? All right. So I I ha wow I've actually done a lot of the shrines, haven't I? So. Where do we go first? Not the right map. Um, where are the shrines on this thing? Ufumi? Oh, there's one. There should be one in this area. Alright, let's go over here. Seems to be in order for the stream. Excellent. Excellent. It was weird. It seemed like uh, I started streaming and then it took a minute for it to actually kick in. <laughs> At least from my preview. Don't you know why? But we're good now. Alright, so it's somewhere over east away. Maybe even on the mountain? I'm not sure. I didn't look very closely. But somewhere in this direction. Oh, I want to fly. That's why I came here. Fly! Oh yeah, we got the Zelda armor. That's right. Not the Zelda armor. The Zora armor. <laughs> Zelda's armor probably looks a little differently. Unless you just... Well, it's a Zora, maybe. Alright. Oh, that's right. We might try to get the last couple geode left today, too. So I think I have like two of those left. Wherever those might be. Go, Tulin! Send me your dust. If I was a shrine, what would I be? That's just monsters down there, right? Probably. Maybe it's somewhere inside or beneath the mountain? What is that? What am I looking at right now? What is this? Oh, that's a Korok camp. I see. That is the shrine we have, I'm assuming. I think. I hope. Once does. Okay, so if it really is around here, I'm thinking there's probably a cave or something. Which, you know, there's all these holes on the other side there. Maybe I'll try this side first, though. I ain't got a clue. Hmm. 
Shopping. Not too much. <laughs> Investigate this wall. Suspicious. What is that? Oh, it's a bloopy. We don't really care. Bloopies are not our priority. Oh, but there's a Torok. Hmm. But there's gotta be a cave somewhere around here. Oh, I can't see. Where is it? Oh! Oh. My Zora armor already keeping useful. Oh, I got it. <laughs> sure. Bye bye. Let's see, I cannot actually swim underwater in this game, right? <laughs> that was Fallen Order. This is a different game. Well. This, none of this looks like a cave entrance to me. I think I may have gone to the wrong side. Unless there is a way from on top. You know, maybe that little monster area. Did I go in there before? I'm trying to remember. Also, I totally just pressed in my joystick. Like I was playing Fallen Order to sprint. <laughs> so that could be a problem. No. Yes. Yeah, see, that crouches in this game. That's bad. That's the opposite. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure we'll get used to it. Just in time to play Fallen Order again, and then we'll get even more confused. Mm -hmm. Plants? Tomato. Does this? No. Hey, Try, where are you? Stop hiding from me. Not you trees, I said a shrine. A shrine, I say. Mm. Let me go investigate with those big monster stool thing. I don't even know what to call it. Their base, their hideout, their rock outcropping. Something like that. A boulder. And... Is this map correct? Is there actually a shrine over here? Or is this just a prank? This? No. I shouldn't be able to. No. Okay. Oh, it just blew up. This may have been the Ron trying to choose to try to find. There it is. That's the stroll thing. Oh, what is all this? Why would all this be here? If not for me to use... Match have right now. Oh, zappies. What? 
I like the zappies. <laughs> well, it'll do. Or maybe it won't. Ouch. It needs wheels. Unless. Oops. He's going long. Did I beat all these guys up before? Uh -oh. Throwing barrels! Throwing bombs! Am I supposed to drop that onto the explosives, maybe? Okay. Oh! Alright, that works. Hello, say. That's done. That's done. Let's pick up an arrow. That's right, I don't have to fight. But all these guys do the work. Boom! Alright, you sir, you're See ya. Um There we go. I poked him. That sounds good. Did we just have a guy come in and be like, <laughs> and then distort it? Please, we're trying to explore. You're being very inconvenient right now. You could just pass away. You'll come back with the blood moon anyway. There. It's a hearty one. There we go. Nope, still not the sprint button. Okay, so like, is there a hole or anything here? Or was this just for fun? I think this was just for fun. Hmm. Okay. This is a little thing. There it is. Stay there. Come over here. Stay a while. Oh, sliding. These things. I wonder if there's like a oh, cave near them. Oh. Maybe I've run adrift. Run aground. Dragon, majestic, fearsome. An ally? Right, what is this? Whoa! Oh. <laughs> Apparently, that did not protect me from damage. Oh, I'm gonna tell us. Alright, I'm just fighting this man.
Hold on, this armor's not correct. Yeah. That'll be a little bit better. Oh! Goodness. Sir? Oh, hey, Ducky. How's it going? Why does the kingdom cry? Uh... <laughs> I don't know. Probably because of Zelda, actually. <laughs> All right, I got one of these. Um... There are always little things. I will eat one of... You know what? Yeah, we'll just take this. Yeah. Whoa! This guy's got it on his back. Run under his legs! Ah, I can't run under his legs! The camera is not very helpful right now. and she represents the kingdom. Yeah, that sounds about right. Although it sounds like a good setup for a joke. I just don't know a good punchline. <laughs> I can't think of one. Why does the kingdom cry? I don't know. Why does the kingdom cry? Let's put this on. Um. This guy. No, this guy. Yeah. <laughs> We're close to halfway to 500. <laughs> we are, in fact, approaching halfway to the halfway point. Is that do 20 when I start watching? Oh, yeah? Has it been that long? What is this? What is it? What, what is, why is there a crevice in here? I gotta go check this out first, but then I think this is the way I need to go. In here, assuming I can keep going that way. What is this? Oh, it's not so much, it's not really a crevice. It's just underneath. Is this anything special? I don't think so. I think it's just a way up. Indeed, it's just a way up. Also, growing someone's gem with stuff like clips is probably one of the only good things that came out of shorts. <laughs> yeah. So I like, I actually like shorts, like the ones that I watch, but I never use the shorts feed, so that's probably why. <laughs> I don't just scroll through a bunch of shorts. I watch the ones from channels that I actually, you know, watch, typically. Um, yeah, I think they're nice that way. But then I've, I've seen other people do, you know, like, oh, watching, like, the first hundred shorts that come up on my feed or whatever. It's like, wow, there's a lot of garbage out there. So I understand why people don't like them, too. See ya. Um, yeah. Oh, look at this. Oh, it's, my shield is glowing. So I should equip a different shield. Um, it's weird. 
I didn't realize this was a luminous one. I thought it was just normal. Huh. Well, that's cool. Oh. Alright, see ya. Adios, my friend. Bomb. Another bomb. Wasn't that just bomb? Anything on this platform? Yes. Whoops. The run button. There we go. No, come here, lizard. No. Um. Just, uh, oh, okay. Well, let's go ahead and blow this up, I guess. Oh, goodness. There we go. So much rock. Yeah, good enough. Yeah, you need to grab another bomb. And a fish. Oh, the chest that dropped over there. Oh, this is just stone anyway. Okay. Well, I'll grab this first. I can always use more gems and rock sauce. Uh huh. <laughs> Soon. Why are we climbing this? They're too low. Hold on. Get this last one. No! <laughs> Doron! Doron. There we go. Alright. Take this here. Get all my gemstones. Link, if you would so kindly, please. Yes, thank you. Good, this. How many notches make a new game filing? Also, a Vatsal graphics game, but dungeon crawler. Ooh. Interesting. Okay, I've collected all my shit. And now, let all the other things. Oh, look at all the guts. Can I open this if I stand on it? Okay, new question. Can I stand on it? <laughs> See, no. Uh, I need, I need, I need, I need one of these guys. Oh, I passed the frog. Okay, carry. Probably doesn't have much in it. Yeah, what the heck? We'll do it anyway. Back to your chest. What treasure? Ah, sapphire. All right. More rock. Rock and stone. The fish. 
You know, I took off the Zora armor <laughs> so I can fight. And now I find myself in the water once again. Please, sir, I just want to find the shrine. The bomb. Oh, hello. And once again, we switch armor. Oops. You're not the master sword. Um, okay. Get a bot. Got a wall. That's a big job. Like I'm probably supposed to send them to this. Let's just try that, shall we? Mr. Doron. Stop running away. Just some rock salt. Alright, which way? Um do this way first. This leads to luminous stone. Thank you for the piece of luminous stone. Ew, it might be guys. And really? He was smart. He knew where to fall. But it won't help him. things. Okay, oh. not nearly as good. And... What is this what I have? He's got... Yep. Uh, another one that's bad. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You know, I'm not sure which I like uh, least <laughs> out of the uh, Gibdo and the Life Lights. I really don't like either. I'm not a fan of looking at them or fighting them. Oh, I'm getting a lot of seeds. Who's this guy? Aha! <laughs> Excellent! We can give another bubble gem to, um... Um... Creepy man. <laughs> no one tell him I don't remember his name. Like... Leon or... Keon? Keon? Ke Keon? Ke Something like that. A lot of giant seeds in this one. Oh, hello, sir. <laughs> what are you doing? Ken, why are you so Why are you running? Why are you running? that long stick and we'll shove on it something one of 
One of these. It's not the right weapon. One of these. Yes. The quest is marked in your map right now. Did you be getting? Uh, no, but it might as well be. Uh, what is it? It's some side quest. Oh, right. Oh, yeah, I forgot that. Remember last time? All the stuff with the great fish? So the second one of those, I guess. Because I didn't do that. I don't know where that one is. I'm not worried about that right now. <laughs> Maybe later. Uh, does this just take me outside? I don't want to go outside. Wait a second. This is not where I want to be. Back in we go. That's a bit of work towards end. Yeah, I could. I can try to find the other Greek fish in the sky clue quest that leads to something. <laughs> Part two. Okay, that didn't work. How about we chop? That works much better. What does it have? It has a royal bow. Which is... Better than this. Oh, but that's a special bow. So I don't want to get rid of it. So we actually don't want this. Sorry, we don't take royal bows here at the moment. Let's try again later. Once my other royal bow is broken. Eesh. Okay, so there was another path in here. So that's probably the one I need to actually go to. Was it here? This way? This way. Can't catch a lizard. <laughs> oh no. Right. Okay. This Can I come up here? Or am I just trying to slip? I'm just trying to slip. Is this a wood going? Apparently so. Okay, Lee. Get back up there. We're all counting on you to find this shrine. So that we can stop wandering around for a moment. <laughs> and wander inside the shrine. Oh, good. Another light light. Oh, shoot. This is the rock. I forgot how they worked. Oh, there's the shrine. Oh, right. Uh... I need bomb arrow or the rock. There we go. Okay, show me your turn. Good job. Just a little shit. Understandable since he perished once he did. Another one. Phrenic bow? A bow passed down to the Sheikah tribe, concentrating before drawing the string will allow you to target distant enemies as easily as those nearby. Eh, it's okay. Not that special. I like the twilight bow rather. Would you like to join your friend? Gonna give me another frenetic bow. Wait, come back, material. Wait. You can keep rolling. That's fine. It is another frenetic bow. No, thank you. My friend thinks you are actually blind. Yeah, probably. 
<laughs> Why? Because I didn't see the shrine the first time, or? can't stop myself from collecting them. <laughs> the sound is too pleasing. Oh wait, I missed a flint. Hold. Just... Okay, shrine. You've been live for 36 minutes already? Yes. <laughs> That's how long you took to find the shrine. I mean, it was underneath a mountain, though. Just had to find where the opening was. Also, apparently, that was the majority of work for the shrine. Because, um, we seem to be done. This is just the reward type. Unless it's like that one. But I don't think it's like that one. That was my favorite shrine. The one that, like, just it became a transformer all of a sudden and just it's like it you thought it was one of these the way you just walked up and you already finished it and then it's just like <laughs> turns into a whole nother puzzle i thought that was fun all right where's another shrine here I don't need this anymore. Let's look around. Oh, I think there's, there's supposed to be one north of this tower. Let's try to find that one. I am a little disappointed that that wasn't an additional puzzle, but it was still good to find. I just want more puzzles. I want more puzzles. Ooh. Oh, hello, dragon. Get something from this dragon since we seem to be here. Um, what do I want from this guy? I don't think I need anything in particular at the moment. What do I get his antler or whatever it is? Horn. It's probably the proper term. <laughs> Nice. Oh wait, that was Zelda, right? The light dragon? Well. <laughs> sure. Alright, I am looking for a shrine that might be hidden down somewhere. Huh. A lot of mountainous terrain once again. Only four bucks and you get a six player co op platformer. Even better deal than you Oh, yeah? Wait, did one of your messages not come through to me? Or what's it called? Oh, uh, you know, sometimes, whatever I'm. Sometimes it's not coming through my OBS, like a random message doesn't go through. I see now on the web interface, though. Just noticed you guys did a Pico Part series. Time to binge all of that. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was a lot of fun. Pico Part was a lot of fun. No shrine to tattoo? Uh, not that I know of. I don't think there's one in this game. Pretty sure that's only in 
unless it's something I didn't unlock, or I just don't know where it is, and I actually have it this entire time. As far as I know, it's not in, in this game. It is in this game? Well then, I just uh, am ignorant apparently because I don't know how to do it in this game. Unless it's the same as the last game, which I also don't remember. <laughs> Does it still do the beep beep though? That's kind of annoying. How would I... How would I do that? Because before you can like go to these and also track them, right? Anything that you're taking a picture of? Or was it only materials? Complete the quest, Hatino Village Research Lab. Have I done that? I don't think I've done that. Hold on. Maybe we should go to Hatino Village. I wonder if I need to go visit Robbie or someone again. Honestly, it's kind of crazy. I got so many shrines without having that. <laughs> it's actually in this game. Talk to Robbie. Robbie's over at um this place though, right? Here, I'll, I'll look. I'll go to look out landing first. Oh, hey, Major Man, how's it going? Please, Jim, let me talk to Robbie. Okay. Oh, uh, Robbie. Robbie, where do I get a shrine detector? Uh, how Robbie sound? It's been a minute. <laughs> I really appreciate you fixing up my balloon. Ultra thanks. That auto build thing is pretty darn amazing. Hmm, I should have a good think about all the practical uses of that someday. Oh, that reminds me. Listen up, big update here. Your pro pad can be equipped with a sensor that detects shrines. Hmm, come on, I'm more impressed. I'm the first one in all of Hyrule who noticed the shrines after the upheaval, so I created a sensor that detects them. Only thing is, I can't set it up here at Lookout Landing. It'd be nearly impossible unless I'm at the Burr Bad Research Lab in Atino Village. <laughs> That's right, it's a lab dedicated to the enhancement of the Pure Pad, which Pure and I developed. Once I'm in that lab, you and, and you join me there, I can further improve your Pure Pad, starting with the sensor. You'll find the lab in East Nekluda, off in the southeast corner of Hyrule. On its far side is Hatino Village. Go a bit farther than that and you'll see a mighty peculiar place. Don't let the looks fool you, it's a cutting edge lab. People have been saying the princess has been sighted in the castle, but I have a hard time believing that. Anyway, Pearl's on top of that, she'll be looking into the castle herself. I intend to look for clues regarding the princess using my own methods. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to head over there. I'll be waiting for you to arrive. See you in Hatino Village. Don't keep me waiting. Also, you gotta do camera work in the depths? I think you did that. Yeah, I think that's why I was here now. Because that's the last quest I did for Robbie was the camera. <laughs> Let's see, what does this guy have? I can't remember. Uh, I think you got these already, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. 
So we're Gucci on that. Um. Do, 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 do. Okay. Let's go to Hatina Village. That's not Hatina Village. <laughs> Wait, I didn't I didn't shot the quest yet. This is a problem. Fine, we'll grab this crab and then we'll teleport. That was the plan. Hello, crab. This is Hatino. Good, good. Out we go. You got Terrytown on your mind? <laughs> Do I have Terrytown on my mind? Is that what I'm singing? I don't even know, man. Just my subconscious. Maybe it's all the soft mode just have this music actually. Um, Adventure Lodge. Here we go. Ease away. Oh, yeah. Wait, this is like the first lab you go to in the first game, right? Because you had to, like, carry the the blue blue flame all the way up the hill and stuff, and light the torches. Yeah, that's right. Which would make sense, because the, sh the, the sensor was in the first game, too. <laughs> Are all those lanterns not here anymore? Those got removed? That's kind of funny. Unless I just didn't see him. They were more spaced out than I remember. Hmm. The fact that you didn't even know this game had a shrine sensor shows how much stuff the game has. Yeah! For real. Like, I... I almost got to the end without um, even do getting auto build, like, <laughs> and, and the camera. <laughs> I went so long without either of those. Um, uh, sir, what are you doing up here? Eh? What do you want with an old man like me? I'm a Hylian shrew. Mm. Is this a good idea? <laughs> you say this is from Cece? Well, that's generous of her. Thanks. <laughs> What's this? That's a fine looking mushroom you brought me. Seems like lately CC's mushrooms are popping up everywhere around here. Mm. Makes my eyes water a bit to see those flashy colors wherever I turn. My family and all my friends my age tend to take life slower than she does. <laughs> Still and all, it'd be rude to turn down a generous gift. Thank you. You are so welcome, strange man. <laughs> I mean, stranger, 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 sir. Good str Good sir? Good sir. Look at that. Why are these cuckoos up here? Open up. Oh, he's here. Hello, Robbie. Ah, what a fine afternoon. Hi. Hey, you. The Parapad Laboratory is ready for us to do some great things together. First, let's get that sensor up and running. Come on, let me see that Parapad. This will only take a moment. Oh. One and a two and a three and a four. And now, Link, you should go right out that door. Oh, here you go. Dunzo! 
Now the sensor will make a sound if there are shrines near you. Excellent. All right, now that I've installed that sensor for you, I'm about to walk around the lab to test out how it reacts. Is there a shrine in here? <laughs> oh. Hey you, where are you going? We need to finish testing your new sensor. Come back here, will ya? We're still testing that sensor, so hold off on the rushing around for now. Just walk in the direction you're moving when you hear the sensor react. What do you think I was doing, Robbie? Oh. oh. No, I know. I'm not trying to leave, I swear. I just went to the door. I didn't even press anything. What do you mean? <laughs> I get it. Let me finish. What's the problem? Do you need help with the sensor? I react when you're moving toward a shrine. The more strongly, the more you're pointed in the right direction. So if it's not responding much or at all, try moving in another direction. It seemed to go off more when you were pointed towards a section of the slope outside. Try right try try going right down there. I thought you didn't want me to leave the what? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> I don't understand. What do you want me to do? If I can't go outside... But... Uh, but <laughs> what do you mean, Robbie? You want me to stay inside? You want me to walk towards... Okay. I don't know why I didn't do that before. What's this? The sensor that I installed on your parapad is reacting to something right here now. It reacts when you're moving towards a shrine. The sensor must be detecting a shrine down the slope in front of the lab. Is there really one that close by? <sighs> There must be, because my creations are perfect. Unless they get broken in some way. <laughs> now, why don't you go check down the slope in the direction that the sensor was indicating? Goodness, thank you. Uh, this way? Now we can truly shrine hunt? Yes. <laughs> we can actually... We have something to track it. Oh, and welcome back, thank you. Although, sometimes it's less than helpful. Oh, a left? They're cave? Oh ho! Mega Man, I'm watching you on my TV. Nice! <laughs> you got the big screen! There's a shrine! Um, Mr. Goron, you're the one I need, and you are <sighs> lagging the farthest behind. You just... My Amber! My Amber at the Maya is sick. <laughs> the Maya is it shrine. What if you already got that shrine? That's a good question. I don't know. Unless that light is blocked off by something until you get the sensor, which is possible. I'm not sure. Cool. <laughs> don't want it. Give me an orb! Excellent. In Splat 3, I made Jits name out of ink. <laughs> Do you mean Jinx? Or Jig? Or <laughs> Who, whose name did you actually spell? Unless it actually is Jits, and we just don't know who Jits is. 
which is a possibility, although it seems like the less likely possibility. Anything else up here? Yes, there is. Hello, frog. Excellent. I thought it was Jits. Oh. <laughs> You've been misreading it the whole time. Yes, well, I I always refer to him as J. Because I didn't realize it was supposed to, like, the exclamation was supposed to be an I upside down. <laughs> so it's understandable. I will continue going. <laughs> J. Cuckoo here. Cuckoo, what are you doing? You're cuckoo. He's cuckoo for cuckoo pops? I hear dragon music. But where? What? I don't understand. Why do I hear dragon music but I don't see dragon? 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 There you are. Dragon. I'm here. Oh, there's a Korok. But I've got to get the dragon part. I'll come back for you. I don't know if I can hit him from here. I'm like, no. Slow down, would you? Give me an object. Updraft? No updraft? Ugh. I don't think I can hit him. Not even close. No updraft? Boo. Alright. We'll go bad for the Torah. <laughs> can I not teleport to the... I guess not. I decided to do a bubble fraud past this run in my <laughs> Tears of the Kingdom playthrough. How kind. <laughs> Does having eyes make you see better? Um. <laughs> I don't know about better. I feel like it makes it seem possible. So, in a way... Yes? Alright, did Robin want to say something else to me before we go help the little Korok man? Robby? Yes, I did find the shrine. <laughs> My design of the sensor is beyond perfection! Just listen to its sounds and you'll find your way to that nearby shrine. What? You found it? I'd expect nothing less from you. Anyway, how about that sensor? Handy, huh? I'd expect nothing less from me. <laughs> well, I've told you what you need to know about that sensor, but I fear it's gone in one ear and out the other. So hang on a minute. Okay, the details look correct, and I'll post it right here. Yes, very good. <laughs> Here you go, the operation instructions for the sensor. Now you can review the sensor feature anytime you want. Just read that poster there. <laughs> now you begin to see the true potential of the parapad. But I'm nowhere near done yet. I created new features for that device while I was waiting here for you. Yes, I whipped up some prototypes of these extra features and can get them on your parapad at any time. That is with some help from you, getting some final data I need in order to activate them perfectly. Let's talk if you want those upgrades. Enjoy that sensor, a taste of great things to come. Until then... Hey you! We have more work to do! Your parapad is nowhere near its full capability yet. The parapad will be even better after I add some extra features. Those include the most essential one, the travel medallion feature. That lets you set up gates for instant travel anywhere. Well this would have been helpful earlier. <laughs> oh. 
There's also Hero's Path mode. It shows where you've traveled. Finally, Sensor Plus, which helps you find more shrines. Oh, more than shines. Your prototype pad will be perfect once I've installed all of those. But first, I'll need you to gather some test data so I can fine tune my prototypes. So, let's get the word on that pad. Just talk to me anytime you'd like to get started on any of these. The travel modeling feature is quite exceptional. It lets you travel instantly to a gate you've established anywhere. But we're driving to have a bit of an issue, extra challenge with all this. Come now, give me your power pad for a moment. Here it is. Oh. Look here, in distant Akala, up in its northeastern corner, is the Akala Ancient Tech Lab, which is also my home. That's where the, my prototype of the Travel Medallion feature is. I started work on it back there. Uh huh. I do get it myself, but uh, word is that some dangerous trespassers have made themselves a home there. That's why I'd like to have you, with all your great talents, go there and fetch my Travel Medallion prototype. To speed this journey along, well, the return journey anyway. Where was that again? Aha! Here it is! Here it is. <laughs> you can travel here! Yay! <laughs> ah! I've activated a travel gate outside this lab. Now we can get here instantly, if not faster. You'll need to make your own way to the Kala Ancient Tech Lab, however. You'll find the travel medallion prototype is in a chest beside my desk there. Should be easy enough to find. Now go, Link! Um, so, I, uh... <laughs> what? Then you already have it. <laughs> Great job! That will do the trick. Come on, hurry up. Let me see your power pad. Oh. Now, give me just a moment. You tell me I could have had this the whole time. I went there so long ago. Travel medallion. This mysterious tool was built by Robbie. Place it by opening your inventory and registering your current location as a travel game. <laughs> ta -da 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 -da! I added that to your key items, so you'll never lose the ability to use it. If you want to be able to travel instantly to your favorite spot, just stand there and set up a travel gate by using that. <laughs> then at any time, you can just zip right there by selecting that very spot on your map. Easy, right? I wonder what I could do if I had even more data, however. I suspect I could add two more gates. Yes, then it hit maximum capacity. So I can create a link between the pad and a setting location, but for that, I need about 10 map data locations. Ah. You should be walking apart for someone like you. Oh, yes, I should prepare operating instructions for this feature, too. Hang on a minute. Oh. Okay, the details look correct, and I'll post it right here. Yes, very good. Here we go, the operation instructions for the travel medallion feature. Now you can review the travel medallion feature anytime you want. Just read that poster there. Ah. So, which feature do you want to add? Another travel medallion. What? You got that map data already? And for 15 areas? In that case, I had the ability to travel to a second and third spot with the travel medallion feature. I knew you could do it. Great work. Come on, let me see that power pad. Dude. <laughs> now, give me just a moment. You could have had this so long ago. And here's a third spot for your travel medallion feature. Here it is again. Unbelievable. With that, I've fully upgraded the Travel Medallion feature. Consider it a great honor awarded to you for your extensive travels. Ah. But we can use the Travel Medallion feature now. Your pair pad is not yet perfect. It still doesn't have all the available features, so don't forget that. Rose <laughs> <laughs> Path mode is an outstanding addition if you do a lot of investigating. Truth is, there's a tracking feature installed on the Parapad. Hero's Path Mode lets you see this feature on screen. <laughs> I've been tracking you the whole time, Link. I know exactly where you've been. <laughs> uh, it's a brilliant system that lets you see the exact path you've taken. But before I can install the prototype perfectly, I'll need to get data from 15 shrine locations from you. I've got it, bruh. <laughs> I've already got it. <laughs> what? You got the data? Uh, hurry up and let me see that Parapad. Now, give me just a moment. Hero's Path Mode. You can now ah. use the map to see the path you've taken on your journey. Footstep by footstep, you can save around 256 hours of gameplay. <laughs> if you would see this amount of play data, the oldest footsteps will be erased as new ones are added. That's kind of crazy. 256 hours? Oh my gosh. I will be able to see the path you've traveled so far in your map. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> cool. 
Well, hello. Welcome, Apple Man. How are you doing? Oh, yes. I should prepare operation instructions for this feature, too. Hang on a minute. Get the details of threats, and I'll post it right here. Yes, very good. Here you go. The operation instructions for Hero Paths mode. Now you can review the Hero's Path mode feature anytime you want. Just read that post there. Though you can use Hero Paths mode now, your Hero Path is not yet perfect. It still doesn't have all the available features. So don't forget that. <laughs> I would like to add the last feature. Excellent. Very good thinking. Oof. Being curious about this feature, it allows you to pinpoint the location of more than shrines. Many more things. That's what's called Sensor Plus. You select what you want from the compendium, but I can't add my prototype without some extra data. So you need to fill your compendium with at least five types of monsters. I probably actually haven't done this one. <laughs> it's hard to get data on monsters without putting yourself at risk. You'll need a careful approach, or a quiet one. Though you could grab their attention any old way you want and snap a picture on the fly, then you'll have your data. Want to hear anything else about my invention before you rush it off? Your parapet will grow to its full potential with these extra features. Maybe later. What? You're leaving? Already? Dude, I've been here for an hour. Well, keep in mind that your parapet can be truly perfect. Thanks, Robbie. Okay, so what are these travel medallions? I... Oh, that's how I do it. Oh. Uh-huh. Press X on the map screen. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Whoa! Wait, that's dope! Also kind of crazy. Look how I've gone all over. Wow. Dang. Okay. Um. Whoa. Wait. How does this play as X? Oh. <laughs> it shows you when you die too. Oh no. Oh gosh. Oh, it must have been a teleport. I just made this go real fast. <laughs> you just see where you've gone the whole game pretty much, huh? As long as you're within 256 hours. Uh, how many times did I die there? Oh my gosh. Oh, was that? That was inside of a shrine, I guess. I didn't know what shrine that was, actually. Oh, no. That's funny. Okay. I don't need to see this anymore. Not right now. Um, so I've got that. I've got... Wait, I wanted to collect this. Oh, I have to do it from here. I see. Interesting. But I can't place it down from this screen. I have to do it from the other screen, I guess. Curious. Alright. Well, that's kind of cool. Uh, I think there's one around here I want to go to. Let's see if we can find this shrine now that we have the sensor. Do 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 at the map. I think it's... I got a water map, actually. What is this? 
That is a <laughs> That is some LODs not popping in yet, huh? Some low poly models for you. I don't think it's supposed to look like that when you get up close. Um. Hmm. Why is there this? Oh, near. Oh, it tells you depth also. I didn't realize that. Nearby down below. Interesting. There's a chest in here. Nope. Yes. Nope. Don't want that. Uh, hmm. So we need to go down still, maybe? I'm guessing there's another cave or something. Um, oh, hold on. This looks like a Korok thing. I need a picture. I need a picture. Got him. All right, you can go now. You got your picture. We don't need your picture. We already got your friend. Don't you worry. We've got you in our compendium. You go there. And you, sir, go in the middle. There you go. Yeah, ha, you found me. Bye bye is stronger, a Nokia, or the Game Boy that survived the Gulf War? Ooh, ooh. <laughs> what? My instinct would say the Nokia, but I don't think I know the story behind this Game Boy. <laughs> Which I am now very intrigued. Maybe that Game Boy was made by Nokia. The plot twists of all plot twists. Okay, so it's definitely like in here somewhere. But I think that there's some cave entrance I need to find. Nearby down below. But how does one get down below? Go towards this cliff, and then maybe there's an entrance in there somewhere. Did I just blow that deer over? Certainly made it scared. Oh, bat. Oh, goodbye, bat. Um. Yeah, so there's the. Looking for a cave. Uh. I have not seen. Hmm. 
In the Gulf War, soldiers Game Boy was left behind where a bombing was. Even though the explosions melted the plastic, the Game Boy still worked. In fact, it still works today. No way, dude. That's so cool. What the heck? I, I don't think I've ever heard about that. Or if I had, I forgot, which I don't know how I'd forget about that. That's so cool. <laughs> oh, he's just a man. Well, I guess we need... <laughs> in order to decide if a Nokia or a Game Boy is stronger, I guess we need to know, are there any Nokia phones or devices that have survived the bombing? <laughs> which, honestly, I kind of feel like there's a decent chance that the answer could be yes. <laughs> but I don't know. It's called Oakle's Oak Naval? I don't like that. I don't think I like that. Is there a cave entrance in the Naval though? I mean, that would make sense. <laughs> Is this a cave? It sounds like a cave. I don't know how far back it goes though. Oakle's Naval Cave. <laughs> Cool. That's what I wanted. Uh, sir? And it's Russell. Oh, well, I didn't see it that way. down set my thing on fire no I set my thing on fire use electricity <laughs> I did this oh no the consequences of my own actions no thank you I'm not very good at the sneak straight so I don't think I want a blade that makes my sneak straights better <laughs> that won't help oh I see there's a thing there's a thingy thing. The shrine thing. There. I think that tells me where this goes? Um. Um. I literally don't know. Sir? Oh! I have to interact with it. Follow the beam to its end and offer the crystal there. Do so and I will offer you a light that banishes evil. Oh! <laughs> Whoa. Uh. Hmm. I don't like this. No, I do like this. I'm just scared. I'm, I'm scared. I do like this. Let's see if we can... What if I snag one of these rocks? And then we like, weigh this down. Two more.
Okay. See? Attach. There we go. Fun fact. Uranus is the only plan in the solar system named after a Greek god and not a Roman god. The Greek god they picked so happened to be Uranus. <laughs> huh. That is interesting. I definitely had to read that twice before I said it out loud because I was like, is this a joke? Because, <laughs> you know, whatever that planet's mentioned, you never know. <laughs> I'm now waiting for you to say, got him. <laughs> Please don't. Ooh, I almost crushed my head. Uh oh. Uh oh. Too, too big to hit. Get in there. All right, fine. Sure. We'll just take this one. Oh my gosh. <laughs> The Taki? What was that? Taki? Toki? You office the crystal. Here you go. And you completed the Opal's Naval Cave Crystal quest. Those are not words I thought I'd be saying today. The scientists were just feeling funny that day and decided to make the name they can never change. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For real. You've doomed us all, scientists. It'll be the butt of jokes for forever. Uh, no pun intended. <laughs> Alright, what's in here? Ah, charge. We like that. It was a very Indiana Jones-esque type of, uh, situation there to get to the shrine. Welcome back, Major Man. I saw earlier you were asking about if you had four eyes. Could you see all around you, I think? Is that what you had said? <laughs> Which my answer to that is, it depends where they are and, <laughs> and if they actually work. Because, I mean, there, there are some animals, some creatures, that their vision actually does let them see, like, pretty much 360 around, right? But usually that's with two eyes, and there are, like, ones on each side of their head. And they have, uh, I forget what you call it, when it's like, it's like they're more on, like, peripheral vision rather than direct. Like, we see, like, focused in on stuff, and they just kind of see, like, a lot of things all around or something like that. There's some term for it. I don't know. But I suppose if you're just adding eyeballs to humans, you can make them function however you want, right? <laughs> so maybe... Where did my- oh, there it is. This is what I've been looking for. Is there no, no, no bubble frauds in this place? This looks like a fine thing to go up. Um... Link abuses souls? Does he? I thought he saved souls. Unless we're talking about the p pose, and then I don't know what the deal with the pose is. He's guiding them back to the light? Because if you think of it, then you will see. I don't understand. We're talking about these guys? 
because I did kind of abuse these guys. <laughs> I'd make them fight for me. Use the sages. Then, okay, yeah, I guess so. You could say that. <laughs> Definitely, uh, put in a lot of work. Put in a lot of work for us. Get my seeds. I have so many seeds. Not enough. I need more. More seeds. What was that? Is that a bird? Oh, yeah, where was the, where was the man? Where was the man? The man was out somewhere. I don't know. It wasn't at the navel. That's all I know. I just had to name it the navel. Okay, well, maybe we TP somewhere, because there is no shrine indicator going off. When I glanced at the map briefly, there wasn't one around here besides this one anyway. So have I gone down here? Yes, I have. In. Do to do. You know what? Let me just, let me just port to a tower. Maybe, maybe. It's a little. Let's see here. Maybe. Um. Ba -ba 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 -ba. We got those. It's a whole bunch. You know, there's a whole bunch over here. So we'll just wander around this area. While well, I'm teleporting, I'll be right back. I gotta go to the bathroom. Hey Jeffrey, how's it going? Hello, isn't it lovely when all your bows break in Breath of the Wild during a boss fight? <laughs> For example, Water Black Ganon. That is tough. Uh, yeah. No, I remember that fight and I remember there's a lot of combat that's kind of ranged. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry for your loss. <laughs> that is very unfortunate. Swing? Hmm? Oh, it's a caravan. Le scream. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Le scream, le panic. <laughs> and hopefully not le defeat. Nearby down below. Oh. Um, okay, well, it looks like there's a bunch of well things around here, so. 
Try this one. Oh. What? Can I blow this up? That doesn't really look like blow up a bowl. <laughs> you know? This is gonna hurt, isn't it? Hold on. <laughs> is there a safer way to do this? I could just. I don't have an angle here, though. What about up here? No! Really? I can't stand on this? Bruh. <laughs> okay. Alright, well, maybe I'm just not supposed to go down there. A little more. Who screams? We all scream when our bows break. <laughs> and we're fighting for our lives. Tons of arrows, but where are the bows when you need them? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't feel like I was more dependent on the bows in the in um Breath of the Wild than Tears of the Kingdom. For whatever reason. I don't know if it was just the enemies or what. Although not for the guardians, just for like the bosses. Plus it's just that one boss and I'm just remembering that more than anything else. Can't use one when we don't have the other. Yeah, that is a problem. <laughs> that is indeed the problem. Oh, here we go. Bubba bombs. How do you seem to recall? I think it was the water boss. The water like Ganon. That I eventually I figured out like the correct way to actually do a bunch of damage with uh, the sword too. Which helped. Because I think I was having the same type of issue. But this was also like years ago at this point. So it's very faint memory. <laughs> It made me die inside. <laughs> right in the middle of the second phase. Oh, yeah, that's a tough place to lose it. Um, wait, does lightning work on these? I forget. Good job. Of course, it's just as much of a problem of finding it afterwards. No, it's too deep. Oh wait, I can attach it. Come to me, my pretties. Well, <laughs> the gems are pretty. Not the monster parts. Oh, it's just amber, I don't care. What? That's not amber, that's like opal. Wait a second. I thought there was a platform somewhere. It's fine. It's fine. I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't need it. I'm looking for a shrine. Hey, there's a shrine. <laughs> what do you know? It is fine. It is fine. Oh, a talus. Talus. Yep. If the set about off the switch for today, oof. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. <laughs> Take this. Ooh. This man. He said, "Get off my back." Uh oh. It's fine. Everything's fine. Yes. Go to the 
chance to save. That's all it's. If it. Ooh, we're not alone this one. Let's put you on. This guy. Why are we fighting Dwayne? <laughs> no, no, that's a different rock. I swear, that's a different rock. <laughs> we've got, we've got no beef. We've got no beef with Dwayne. We certainly don't want to wrestle him. Pick me up. Yes. What was that name, Susub? The it's the <laughs> it's the YouTuber shrine. Remember to like, comment, and susub. Man, I was fighting a Gliok and I ran out of arrows, so I had to get higher than the Gliok to ground pound on its head. <laughs> After that, I have never been the same. Ooh. Hey, that sounds like a baller move, though. See how hype that is. You go above the Gliok and then <laughs> just wham! Straight down. A lawn rod with a bit of magic. Is this better than a... Short one? I don't remember. Um, I don't know. This basically does it like a spear. This one might send multiple. Is that how that works? I don't recall. I suppose I could test it out for science. Light, bless thee, and get out. <laughs> Leave. <laughs> Leave this place. You're done here. Wait, so if I... If I... If I... The materials. If I put on a gem... Um, power of fire, a sense of ice, power of electricity, power of water. Well, I've got so many of these. Let me try an opal. I just want to see what happens. I don't feel like water is very useful in this game. As far as like an attack attribute. <laughs> kind of funny though. Huh. Alright. Sure, why not? Do I need to do anything else in this cave, or can I just leave? That is the question. Is there a frog? I don't want to leave if there's a frog. But because I'm smarter, I'm stronger, I'm better. <laughs> stronger, faster. Strength, power, discipline. Strength, speed, strength, power. Um, I don't see frog. What's 
He's looks like something to blow up. Ready? Seems to be it. Just stone. Guess it was just stone. Giant boomerang. Well, I want to see what it looks like. <laughs> it is. It is pretty big. Pretty big. Here, have this. All right. <laughs> Okay, I don't really see anything else. We might be done in this game. Let me check this one little thing. Oh, there's a little opening up there too, actually. Maybe we're not done. Hang on. As soon as you said blow up my YouTube lag. Oh no. Uh, what did I activate? I'm sorry. <laughs> Survive Ducky's computer slash browser slash whatever device. Oh. This is just another thing to do. And. that part of the wall? Over here? What are you gonna do in slow mode to be cool? Oh. Maybe there is. Climb link. No! <laughs> Why did you do the opposite of what I explicitly asked you to do? Alright, hang on. We've got to get this. And uh, where's my frog armor? This. I don't remember what it looks like. Oh, we're sticking. Oh, we stick. We stuck. Oh, <laughs> we did not stuck. We slip. We slide. It's just another way in. What a scam, dude. There's no frog here. Oh, there's a chest, though. Is anything cool? Giant bright bloom seat times five. Wow. <laughs> cool. Here it is. Uh, I think we're done this game. Get me out of here. Point of view, but smarter, not harder. Indeed. Oops. You were saying? Wait, what was this? Is that open here? No. I thought I had seen something where I was swimming up the first time, but I guess not. Okay. Get me out of here. I don't want to be here no more. Day of Village Ruins. Day of Ruins. That's what they are. Was that around here? Or somewhere else? There was somewhere. It was the weird place. I don't think it was here. What with the tree lights? That like I put in an offer into something, and then like was it like a wolf spirit or something? What was it? It was some some weird stuff. Weird, weird stuff happened. 
guess it was like this place. I don't know. What is it? <laughs> Where's this tree? Um. What's your favorite armor set? Armor sets? Uh, I guess. Well, out of the ones I have. As far as actually usefulness, <laughs> well, the froggy arm is pretty useful, but I only had the one piece, unfortunately. Um, I mean, I... <laughs> okay, well, this is maybe not the most useful. Aesthetically, I think this is kind of neat. It's a little scary. And I still don't know what Disguised Bone Weapon Professor is actually useful for, <laughs> or what that means. Um, I think it's really cool that Fierce Deity is in. I don't know if that, that's an armor set, though, or if it's just one piece. I haven't really seen anything else. Same with the Helmet. Okay. Hands down, though, this is the best hat. <laughs> Maybe also not an armor set, but the best best headgear. Um, as far as set, though, I mean, I've just been using basic, like, soldier armor and stuff for the protection. But if we're talking Lutz, it's... Bobbican Mask, and the Evil Spirit set. These are pretty good, too. You know what, I'm gonna keep this hat on. <laughs> How do you have two dark pink shirts? Dark pink shirts? Or do you mean the dark... The dark tunics? Um, so... You can... I think you got one for free. Like, I found it somewhere or something, and then you can get them by, or maybe you just offer them by pose. Maybe you only get them from the pose. Anyway, you can you can get them from offering pose to this weird statue things. Um, And I saw that, like, I could still get one, and so I tried it, and it just gave me a duplicate. So, I don't know if there's anything you can do with having more than one, but it lets you buy more. <laughs> Which is really weird. How do you miss a car? Nice. What a cute little hut you've made here. Oh, there's a thing. There's a thing. Better not run this time. Get me over there. Quick. Fuse benefits. Using anything to weapon increases its durability. <laughs> good, good. That's it. 10 of 10 shrine. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, the 10 out of 10 shrine. No, it's still here. Okay, it's still here. It's fine. It's still here. Thought it was John, but it's not. It's still here. And so, we shall collect the star fragment. Excellent. Good. Yes. Good. You did not run away. Oh, you know what I would like to do, actually? I should go visit one of the fairies and see if I can, uh... I'm getting resources to upgrade things. Then we'll look for another shrine. Oh, yeah. I forgot I unlocked the travel medallions. <laughs> I should probably keep those in mind if I need to use them for something. Got three. <laughs> I had zero, and now I have three. Oh, Miss Fairy! I don't remember which one you are. But I would like to see you. Can you help me? Maybe this one. Hello. Uh, you're a 
Your, your sense, young man. It's a fragrance that's familiar to me. So, you have some clothing you want to enhance the necessary materials? Why don't you let me take a look? Uh. With the power available to me, I can enhance your clothing to the maximum. Mm. Okay. <laughs> oh, we need another tail? Cannot enhance. More lizards. Gibdo guts. And oh, yeah, I haven't killed a Molduga yet. Can't enhance, cannot enhance, cannot enhance. Oh yeah, I got this. I forgot about that. Cute little shirt. I think from Wind Waker. Oh, I need light dragon scales. Cannot enhance, cannot enhance, cannot enhance, cannot enhance, cannot enhance, cannot enhance. Cannot enhance. Oh. And oh, I need a cloth from Dinro. Oh, here's everything else. Is there any way to sort by... No, not really. Um, sure. Mm. Yes, please. Uh. Okay, got it. Now then, close your eyes. <gasps> uh. <laughs> She's trying to drown me. Is that a sound <laughs> or not family friendly? <laughs> The fairies are a little sus, that's for sure. Yes, a great fairy has increased its defense to the maximum level. I... Oh, do you feel it? The care I put into it? Mm. Have you got other clothes you'd like me to work my magic on? Uh. Woman, if you could phrase things a little more <laughs> less sus, that would be great. That would be great. Um, yeah. Do this. I need money, actually. I'm going to be able to... Oh, I can spin attack while swimming. That's right. Alright. Uh, this is the last one I can actually afford at the moment. <laughs> I should have done the one that was more expensive. I, mm, uh. These guys need 200. I need to keep at least six topaz. Okay, what about all these guys? Yeah, as long as I get some money, I can do some of these. Oh, need tonight for those guys. Interesting. Hmm, okay. Well then. <laughs> <laughs> she voiced that to that one, I didn't have to say anything. Let's, uh, you know, there was that one girl. Um, at the city. What she want right now? She gives me bonus money, right? For some stone. Although, was it like diamonds or something now? I don't think I want to sell my diamonds. I need them for upgrades. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. I love this statue. Every time I come in, it makes me, it makes me smile. <laughs> it's so funky. Oh, uh, there she is. What do you want? Saba Saba. Oh, sorry. Saba Saba is an expression where I'm from. It means good evening. Although kids these days shouldn't mm. say Since you're speaking to me again, I assume you have ore to sell me. Got any diamonds? I'll buy 10 from you for 5,500 rupees. I don't think I even have that many, right? Um, I really don't want to sell them anyway, but yeah, we got six, bro. I can't afford that. <laughs> well, hello! Sapphires from your Nobo Coast stores are half the normal price. If you don't take advantage, well, you're a loss. Hmm. 
Let's see what you got. Wait, so I can sell for 150. Please tell me again. I buy for 300. What a scam. Uh, I'm assuming it's the same price, though, if I go to any of these merchants. I'll check real quick, though. Now, welcome back, Bobo. I've run out of water. I might have to do it more soon. Although I've probably got a soft cutoff in about an hour, so I might just survive. Unbearable cold. Oh no. Hey, merchants. Excuse me. Excuse me. I care about my wares, not yours. Vasak, it's really nice to be back out under the moon again. This view is what makes Guru sound so special. And there should be more customers, too. Now this is the time to go out. I heard the new big thing is attaching all kinds of stuff to your arrows before you shoot them, so I've really stopped up. You don't see a shop this hip very often, am I right? I've realized I need to be more accepting of change, and that includes accepting Vo like you. Buy for me. Yeah, it's the same price. Okay, what can I sell that I have lots of that I don't need? That is the question. What if I sort? Let's sort, shall we? It's not a sort by price. Unfortunate. Um, these are all actually kind of useful. I don't really care about these. It's only like 25. Oh, my frames are kind of low right now for some reason. Too many. Is it all the jellies jiggling? <laughs> is that why? Um, those are good. I don't want to get rid of those. These? I don't know if I really need to keep these. I'll do like six. Oh. Um. Do like two of these. Sounds mm. good. We'll do like five, six of these. Oh. Do a bunch of these. Yes. Oh. Apparently this stone can be used as a base to make special clothing. I don't know what I need these for. Should probably figure that out. Holy moly, I have 220 flints. Let's get rid of some of that. Goodness me. Ooh. Hardest temple to me is the lightning temple. I got stuck on it for a week. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> yeah, lightning temple was a little tricky. No, I still don't, I don't need this much flint. Let's get rid of more. Um, a lot of jelly. Sure. Ooh. I don't need this many of these either. Aww. But I'm attaching them, so I don't want you to too many of them. Oh, hey Jay, how's it going? Ooh. Um, what else do we have a lot of? These things I can actually like trade in for stuff. <laughs> uh, the the things, whatever they're called. 
These are good. I don't want to get rid of those. Oh, I have tons of these. Maybe they're like half. Mm -hmm. Tons of these. Whee! Good. Ooh. A bunch of these, too. Yeah, it's fine. Aww. I don't... I'm not even using them. Bunch of these. Mm-hmm. Bunch of these. Yes. Uh, a few of these. Ooh. We're making bank. Actually, I should sell a bunch of my bro. <laughs> I don't need this many seeds. <laughs> it's a, like, I don't know, 250 or something. There we go. Aww. Even these, I don't need that many. Perfect. Ooh. No, I have not really <sighs> used the pine drones. Maybe I should start using those. <laughs> Make up your mind already. Are you satisfied? Yes. Yes, I am. I've got money in my pockets. Alright, we'll go to the ferry later. We've done enough stuff. Maybe I should go to this pin. What's this pin? What's this pin, dude? I don't know what the pin is. Oh. Jay, I'm doing okay. The sonic bestie operation failed. <laughs> LOL, but we good. How are you? Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, but... Glad it's I'm glad you're still good. It's the most important thing. I am doing well myself. Uh yeah. It's been fun playing this in Star Wars. I've been getting a lot of work done this week, so I'd say that's a win. I don't think I wanted to port here. This is not this is not a Convenient place to get out of. It's too bad to where we were. <laughs> Whoops. Alright, we'll just glide on over towards our marker. Which is west. Going west. Hmm. It would probably be better if I did these instead, yes? Yes. Then red mark. To the red mark! Oh, is that that shrine? It is that shrine. Okay. I can't stop using the term slay. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Has horns? I might actually need their horns. I wonder if I should fight them. Let's fight them. <laughs> Where'd he go? Oh, what am I holding? Hello, sir. I'm not interested in some challenge. Hey, that. No, 
and stuff. <laughs> Come back. Ooh, ouch. Ooh, he hurt. Oh, why should not ignore this man? Yeah, you get him. Not to him. Straight under the ground. Yeah, get him. Get him. Get him. There we go. Alright. Okay, do the shrine. Oh, what's that smoke? Uh, we should do the shrine first. Then we can investigate. See if it's important. I think that's good. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It is good. Laughing is good. <laughs> yeah, you know, the shrine indicator, not that useful right now. I can see it. Wait, I thought I already went to this. I haven't gone to this. It's so weird. I guess it was a different no oh I see. It was it was a different thing that had the moving sand like this, I guess. you to leave the premises. You as well. Oh, he's shooting me. What are you doing? Get him off here. Oh, my bow broke. Get up there, but uh, <laughs> I want the loot. Okay. Goods, their valuable items. Go back up. Yeah. 
And there's this one last guy. And he's gone. <laughs> Okay. Your swimming lessons, Bokros. Is it swimming lessons if it's sand? That's more of like... Actually, I don't know what it would be. <laughs> sand walking lessons? All right, shrine. It's time for you to give me my reward. I'm assuming this is not one with an additional puzzle, which is not my preference, but since we had to walk over here, although I know it wasn't that big of a trek to get to this island. It was small, so maybe it will be. Oh, it will be. Oh, yes, excellent. Yes. Imprisoned ancient evils. Proving grounds. Lure. Ooh. A foreboding. They can ride horses. Let them ride sand seals. <laughs> let them ride sand seals. Please. They deserve it. Okay, nothing's here. Um... Mm hmm. What's the deal here? What are these? What, what will this do? Just jump over it. Um. No, you don't see me. No one's here. No, no one's here. No one's here. No one's here. Um. Excellent. That's what I wanted. Big brain. <laughs> well, at least big enough to uh, do what they intended, I think. So that's good. Oh, would it have like dropped 
balls or something if I... I kind of want to know. Look at all this stuff, too. Man. You do so many tools on this one, actually. It's nuts. More fire. Could have, like... And this. Created a chain over the leaves, maybe. Or just... I must know. Please activate rolling balls. Yes, it does. So you could have brought them down here too, I guess. Made them get smacked by all the metal balls rolling down. Man, they gave you an excess of tools, which is cool. I like that. There are a lot of different ways you could have done this. What was the most interesting that happened to y'all this week? Oh, well, some of our family friends just uh, moved to, which is super cool. We've been helping them. They've actually been staying over, which is why I have to wrap up stream in <laughs> a little under an hour, probably. Um, but yeah, we was glad to have them here, so that's fun. Got this. That's a pretty good blade. What about for Chill? What about you, Jay? What was the most... Did anything interesting that's positive happen to you this week? Yes, yes, yes. May the light of blessing grant you the strength to see. <laughs> now go on, get. Mega Man making something called the Boko Champer? Mega Man, what is a Boko Champer? What does this mean? Oh, Babo, you got the, the Fallout Special Anthology. Oh, very nice. Is that the, just the collection of everything, or is that something different? So I, I think all the Fallout games are in sale, right? Is that what you're talking about? Um, yes. Not enough. Wait, actually, <laughs> I can do this. Nice. Oh, Jeffrey, you were ordering a Breath of the Wild strategy guide. Very nice. It's kind of old school. I like that. Um, where am I going now? I don't actually know. I'm just kind of looking in a circle. <laughs> Is there other stuff in the desert that I want to go to? Let me pull up a little map here. Um. Yes. I mean, there's also the Mo Mo Mogul Moldoga or whatever. I think there's a couple more shrines in the desert here. Let's light. So, just try to find those. What I do, Jay, I think he was just replying to you and tagged you, Jay. <laughs> That's all. That's why. Oh, a major man. Uh, so a uh, Boko Champer is a machine that eats Boko. Oh. How nice. Oh, and I missed Jay's message too. Nathan's B day happened this week. That was nice. Oh, well, happy birthday to Nathan. <laughs> Let me go over... Maybe here? I don't know. Is this closer to where I want to be? I think so. Fault Special Anthology... 
is every final game encased in a replica mini nuke. <laughs> oh, I see. Oh, Jeffrey, I need guidance to find Bo's tricking stuff, possibly. Yeah, no, I feel you. I mean, I played through the entirety of Ocarina of Time and um, Majora's Mask just like following a walkthrough. <laughs> just because when back when I was playing those games, I was like, you know, I'm very nostalgic for this. And I don't want to spend a bunch of time just running around, stumbling about. So I, I referenced the walkthrough pretty often for those. Sometimes you just, you just need a little help. And if that's what makes you enjoy the game more, why not? That's what it's there for. Oh. Group hug for everyone. <laughs> yes, everyone huddle, huddle up, huddle up. Ducky got back from playing a gun disassembly game on Steam, and I fully painted an AK-47 paint. <laughs> Whoa. Very nice. I'm sure that would be very intimidating. <laughs> We're so close to the full crew of Chatter. Just need Zaf. Yeah, Zaf and the uh, Decker girl. Also Waggy. I haven't seen Waggy in a while. I hope she's doing good. Oh, I see the shrine. Watch out, my ripped arm might hurt you. Uh, oh. Okay. <laughs> we'll keep a wide berth, I guess. <laughs> Of course, there are other people who show up sometimes with sell. Yeah. You guys are the most consistent right now. For show. Sure. Yes, Shrine Indicator. I know you're trying to help. I can see it already. They're dancing. Well, one's dancing. One's just eating. That guy, he's having the time of his life. What do you think they listen to? <laughs> what music groups are both going to? Oh, bye, Jay. Get some good rest. Have a good school day. In the morning. If you can. <laughs> the Tara Hatad. What secrets do you hold, Shrine? Drifting Flame. Ooh. Do I need this? I think yes. Um, you know... I don't know, actually. What do I want to give it up here? <laughs> The Master Sword. Get out of here. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you can do this. That's fun. Um, uh, 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 um. Goodness, I like everything. I don't know what to drop. You know, maybe we can come back for it, right? We can probably come back for it. It's fine. We'll just drop this. It's not the one I meant to drop. <laughs> just drop this. Uh. Uh. Aha. Uh -huh. I see. Somehow a 
while ago I saw a gym NFL on a random Zelda stream. Oh, did you really? That is kind of funny. He's everywhere. He just really likes Zelda. Um, what is the point of doing this? Goes down for what? Turn down for what? And strong sword for a strong man. You better believe it. Um. Oh, there's a chest down there. So. Is this way down? Not quite. What if? Here we are. What if? Put this on it. Will this opal staff add enough weight? It will. <laughs> Here we go. We just, uh. Oh, that's a bit... Okay. Maybe I don't need it. Uh-huh. But you know what? It's still better than this. Uh, um... Oh, I can't find this. How refreshing. A wall... A wall and a shrine you can actually climb? That's crazy. Do here. Oh, wait, I understand. Those are all the things that I need to set on fire. Okay. Well, fortunately, I can just do uh, this. Do it the easy way. Nice. Oh, good night, Mega Man. Remember, <laughs> one person of motivation can change the world. You know, that's absolutely true. Have a wonderful night, Mega Man. Thanks for hanging out. It's not even the same words. Change the world instead of save the world. But like the the Avatar the Last Airbender intro. <laughs> Guitar being like, but I believe and you can save the world. That popped into my mind, and now that's all I can think of. So well, you said Bobo. The fact that we went from like maybe two chapters to this is kinda crazy. Yeah. It's cool. It's very neat. I'm much appreciative. Oh, it's cold. I need to put on some warmer clothes. Okay, I think there's another shrine that's still in this area too. Um, somewhere up here or something. We just need to go. Piece of way. Oh, who's this? Hello, ma'am. Sabasaba. <laughs> Sabasaba. Oh. I've heard about you. The Vo who fought alongside our soldiers, right? This is a training area for Gruda warriors. The harsh program here requires stamina, willpower, and smarts to cross the desert. Oh. Welcome to the starting line for the desert race. I'm here to oversee the desert race and give advice to any challengers. Up to now, only Garuda warriors were allowed to undergo training this <laughs> rough. But since you've already proven yourself in battle, we'll make an exception for you. We ask 10 rupees per attempt as a training fee. Are we ready to try the desert race? What are the rules? Oh. The rules of the desert race are simple. Pass the ball seven inches before reaching the goal. The desert is hard on a runner. You shouldn't hesitate to use whatever advantages you can think oh. of. 
Uh, if you do stray too far off course or cross the finish line without passing through all the arches, you will fail. There's also a time limit of 3.30. I don't want anyone staying out for too long in the desert oh. conditions. If you can beat the record, there's some traditional Garuda cloth in it for you. Also, cost 10 rupees per attempt. Are you ready to give it a try? Um... Maybe. What is around here? Oh. What's that? Hold on. Ah. Oh well, I thought you had it in you. You can still come by whenever you feel up to the challenge. Let me... Let me vehicle first, maybe. I don't know, are wheels are just trying to slide on the sand better. What's faster? I also don't know the course. <laughs> so we'll just try a fan first. So falling, so I think I might be the only person who can watch these streams at midday. Yeah, that's probably true, at least for now. I mean, partly that's just time zone, but when I have um, streamed earlier, which has not been often, but um, it seems like people in like North America time zones are mostly only available in the evening, <laughs> like even on Saturdays. Um, they're doing other stuff, which like makes sense to me, you know, work, school, whatever. <laughs> But yeah, we never know who we might also add to our group one day. A little chat. Oh. What their schedules may be like. But for now, certainly. Uh, yeah, let's do this. Oh. <laughs> Very well, from now on, soldier, you're at my mercy. Hope you're ready, because I'm going to run you ragged. Oh. But first, some ground rules. In the desert race, you must pass through seven arches around the desert before reaching the goal. The desert is hard on a runner. You shouldn't hesitate to use whatever Whoa. advantages you can think of. However, if you stray too far off, I told you just, just a minute ago. So please oh. go ahead. Wait here while the arches ready. It shouldn't be long. Oh. The first arch is the one close by. Once you go through that, you have to take the rest of the arches in the desert in order. Oh. Keep in mind that the arch on the rocky hill gets harder to see as you get closer. You can't see the finish line from here, but if you follow the arches in order, you'll come across it eventually. Oh. So then, ready to get running? The plot starts once you go through the first arch. Oh, so I could have built after. That's fine. Get ready and start your own leisure. I think it would also be wise if I pre-equip um my sand shoes. And maybe even some climbing shirt. You with math stamina. <laughs> yes. Me is I. Honestly, I might be able to just run it with my stamina bar. I don't know. I thought you were actually running. I mean, there's nothing that says you can't. But you did say use whatever at your disposal, so... It's probably better to do this way. And again, it gives you like three and a half minutes, so you might be able to run it. Especially with the sand boots. Maybe not without the sand boots. Um, this could be a problem. Climb, the battery break. Where's the next one? Maybe I couldn't run this in three minutes. Where's the next arch? Oh, it's around. Okay. Back to the skip. Uh oh. Where is it? Uh. Is that it? Come back, please. Uh oh. <laughs> this is 
bad. No, oh, please. Goodness. That ate up so much time. Seven, right? Should be the last one. Or maybe that blue guy is the last one. Oh, it's not good. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Yeah, what was the record though? <laughs> well done, soldier. Come back here so we can now go over the results. Okay. <laughs> oh. Your time was 240.60. Oh. Hey, not bad. The desert race is a struggle between your body's limits and the harsh desert environment. Even as little soldiers there aren't many who can finish the race. Oh. To even approach Captain Teet's record is an honorable showing. This is your reward. Take it with pride. Hmm. Mm. I wanted to give you a Gerudo shield, but there's no room in it for that pouch of yours. How about five arrows instead? <laughs> Well, oh. How about I drop one? Come back once you've made space for your prize. Let me drop this real quick. Oh. You came to claim your prize, right? Yes. Oh. I'll be waiting for your next attempt. 28. 28. <laughs> I should have taken the arrows. Wait, so what was the... what's the high... what's the time? You gotta do that again. Oh. You're welcome to try the desert race as many times as you want. It's 10 rupees per attempt. Ready to get started? Oh, oh it's 2.30. Oh, we were so close if I didn't mess up. Just thought you should know. If you don't run, you might as well aim for the record, right? Wait here while I get the archers ready. It shouldn't be long. Say archers. Arches. <laughs> Uh oh, are they putting archers oh. on the course? <laughs> Just whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Is they going through. Stop. Um, let's start. Okay. Let's do this again. Works pretty well. I just need to not um, troll with the sand. Two thirty is easy if you don't lose the sambo. Yeah, exactly. I I wasted like what an entire minute chasing it down. I think it's pretty bad. You know what? Since we have this, we are a little beautiful. If only the glue wasn't there. Let's do this. Good at is always making good music. Alright, well, no one, I, I know where the arch is, so I think I'll just actually send this down on purpose. And I'll hop off and climb up. Down. 
And it should be down here. Should be down here. Okay, well, I got a little stuck, but that's fine. Still works. Oh no, oh no. Should be on to the other side. Oh my gosh. Turn, turn. <laughs> I just think go fast if you put frozen meat on the bottom of your vehicle. Just goes and said, go fast twice. Yes, you did. <laughs> I didn't need it, but yes, you did. Okay, if I don't make it, I gotta try that. Three seconds. I don't think I'm gonna make it. I'll go through the middle of these. Ten seconds. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> are you kidding me? <laughs> Two thirty point nine eight. I am one second shy. Under one second Ooh. shy. Huh? That is so sad. <laughs> if I hadn't gotten mm. turned around, it would have. It would have made it. Alright, one more time. Oh. Yeah, let's try some frozen meat. Let's do that. Just so that we have even oh. better margin of error. Okay, first of all, do I have any frozen meat? I probably have to freeze it. Um, Do I have meat? I have meat. Let's try this. Let's hold this. Um... Then what, like jelly or something? What do I have that can freeze? Put this down. Put this. Bad boy can do. Uh huh. <laughs> I think I might need two pieces of meat. Hmm. Um. <laughs> Unless. What if we just put it on the. Maybe we just need more, more forward. Help? Or do I need multiple pieces? Hmm. Attach like the wheels? Attach the meat like the wheels? Like. Oh, that might work. Although. Is this gonna melt because we're in the desert? <laughs> Has it just turned hot? <laughs> you know, it is sliding, maybe so. What if I just do that? It might actually just work like this. It seems to be sliding a lot more already. Let's just do it. We ain't got no time. Nope, 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 never mind. Hold on. All right, we'll get another piece of meat. <laughs> it's working all right. <laughs> it is working. Not the way I want it to, but it is working.
Do I have? I do. I have that and just that. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So we work with two. Now. I don't have to put like four meat on this if I don't have to. <laughs> no, not four meat, please. <laughs> So, I just did that wrong, that's okay. And now we took it, actually we're doing the opposite, we're freezing. <laughs> the meat is completely uncut. Like I said, let him cook. We said no. <laughs> let him freeze. It's not turned the same way, but I doubt that matters. <laughs> Let's just see what happens. <laughs> this looks ridiculous. <laughs> well, this is working great. <laughs> um. Because this one's turned weird. <laughs> The internet light us? The oh, car's not moving. Oh, hello, Leo. <laughs> yeah, maybe it doesn't work on sand. Hmm. Let me try putting it flat on the bottom instead. Yeah, if that doesn't work, then we'll just go, oh well. And not worry about it. <laughs> Something like this. Oh. Oh, you're supposed to be flat. Flat, I tell you. Flat. That's flatish. That's not flat. Why is not wanting to be flat? Bro. Oh, goodness. Yeah, 
yeah, all right. Forget the meat. Yeah, it was worth a try. It was a whole lie. That is in your auto build for later. <laughs> Some meat on shield plus big shield trip surf. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. One wasn't flat. I don't think any of them were actually flat, but I'm, I've given up. <laughs> I'm just trying to do it this way. I can do it as long as I don't get stuck. Yeah, that's something that's been missing. I'm going to try going on the left side. That might be a bit easier. Very unfortunate, yes. <laughs> Truly unfortunate. It's fine, though. Getting there. Oh, this is the most crucial part. I've got to make sure this doesn't go the wrong way. Maybe. Yeah. Try this. If it goes to the right place, I'm up here real quick. The Legend of Loda. <laughs> Yes. My favorite game series. Uh oh. Where is it? There it is. Not taking any chances with this. We need to go the right direction. Sir? 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 Is that good enough? I think that might be good enough. Like 45 seconds? I can't do this with a hover bike. Ooh! That does sound like a good way to do it. Plenty of time. 12 seconds under. There we go. Well done, soldier. Come back here now. So I can give you your reward. You've conquered the non frozen oh. meat hover, not hover, <laughs> and sand skip. Your time was 218. 218? Put out sits. I've never seen anyone do better than Captain Teak, but the chief did speak very highly oh. of you. A promise is a promise. Here's something to mark you getting the fastest time. Gerudo fabric. Tough fabric bearing a Gerudo design. It looks like it could be used to make parrot oh. <laughs> As of today, you've graduated from a mere trainee soldier. Come again if you ever want to test your limits. You're welcome any time. Will you step up? I already did. Hmm. <laughs> All fun in games till a sandworm comes out of the sand. Dude, music intensifies. Is game has custom paragliders? Yeah. Um, I think the die shop. I've I have not done anything at the die shop, but I believe if you go to the die shop, there's uh, you can do some custom stuff. Which maybe I'll check out before I get off. I do want to find this last shrine, though. I think there's another shrine in this area. Ish. Did you know? Oops. Oh, no. I'm just... I'm just bringing the fan over here. Can I, um... Oh, it is my history. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Oh, uh, is the one I actually used in here? Yes. Why does it want to sit tonight? Yeah, I can do that. 
There we go. Oh. You know, dash off to go make your paragliders <laughs> Indeed. That should be their slogan, right? <laughs> we'll get you your custom drip. I'm dying, you know, dry, uh, dye shop. <laughs> Not the dry shop, that's a different job. What do they do there? I don't know. Try out meat? Try out clothing? Give me leather? Who knows? Oh, trying? Which way? This way? This way. Where? Take me. Take me, Sand Pit. Send me to the depths. Oh. Quit Sand Lake Cave. Guru Desert. Oh, let's see. Um, oh. My amber. It's this way. Well, did you exist? Oh, <laughs> wait, what? This crat, I can't blow it up. I feel lied to. This just takes me to the surface. Something's wrong. Blow this up. Huh. Okay, I guess I'd have to go through the cave somehow. Find an alternate route. I mean, there's all this quick sand. I guess that kind of made sense. Quick sand is not kind either. <laughs> Too bad my skiff didn't actually come down with me. Um. Oops. Stop. <laughs> Over here. That would be ideal. There we go. Oh, it's a little little man. Isn't he cute? Okay, bye. Oh, that doesn't hurt him. <laughs> oh no. Where's my door on? Mr. Door on? Mr. Door on? Where's Mr. Door on? You know what? Sometimes I think that I think I'm move. <laughs> there he is. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> um. Okay. Fine, we're safe up here. Yes, we're 
getting over there. This moves pretty well. Yes. It's not. Oh, not the blood moon. What's he doing here? <laughs> ah, perfect timing. Yes, yes. We all know, we know how the blood moon works. Oh. <gasps> oh. Oh, for all. The moon should really go see a doctor if it's bleeding. <laughs> You know, you're not wrong. It does seem like a problem. And to the sand, we're off the sand, to the dirt. This is dirt. another innocent bubble frog. Hey man, he was looking at me funny. <laughs> One of us had yep. to go. <laughs> You've committed sins of the highest order. No, oh no. I didn't mean it. Wait, hold on. Oh no, that has their body up too. And it's me. She'll grow up nine. Um, sure. I uh, Got more shields than I need. So. <laughs> I'm still a little confused. What are you trying to do here? Not here. Fan the sand? I don't think these sand piles do anything, do they? Yeah. 
Because that's where all the sand's dropping. I'm mighty confused though. It's a bit underwhelming. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't really do much, unfortunately. This cave is doing me confusion. Like, this seems like a place to go to, right? Like, there's not really anything else up here. Show. Am I just missing something? Huh. There's a bunch of gems I could get, but I don't really care about that right now. I just walk the shrine. I want to play this as Mario and ground pound that mound. It might hurt. <laughs> it's sand, but it may still hurt. This is where I fell through. It tells me to go this way, right? There's a different part I'm supposed to go down? Maybe this is not right at all. Hmm. Sensors are not doing up at all here. Okay, so I guess I'd do a little bit. Nearby, down below. Well, then, like. <laughs> okay. Unless. Does this take me to a different cave? No, I think this is the same one, right? This is the same place. What do you want from me, game? Okay. It's just definitely right there. Yes. Yes. Oh. I don't know. Should I try? Should I? So confused. <laughs> yeah, now I'm getting farther away from it. Oh. It's gotta be something I'm missing down below, right? Unless... Wait a second. Wait a second. Oh my. 
ancient prison ruin. That sounds more likely. <laughs> this does look more likely. Where's the stone? There it is. Hey, an opal. That's pretty good. God, Gibdo's locked up in here. And rightly so. A chest over there. I don't know how to get in, though. Oh. Another one. Yep. you do best. Smack him. Hmm. Oh. There's a hole in there. Well, bye, Bobo. Thanks for hanging out. Have a good rest of your day. Before I go that way, just a way to fall in or something. All right. the sides I should get. Down the hatch. Mm-hmm. 
Some more amber. Always good. Always wanted. Though other things are preferred, but it's better than rot salt. <laughs> well, rot salt is still appreciated. It's not as good. What did that do? That take me up? No. here we walked around here there's this opening what's up here some extra oil and things Not super helpful. Um, we came up here and that dropped out. I pulled the lever and it opened up that gate. But that gate just takes me back to where it was. Huh. Oh, hey, Jekyll Girl. How's it going? Flower, so maybe. Oh, look at that. Hey, I'm moving. Okay, this is what I missed. Excellent. Um, that's where the shrine is. Okay, here's where the chest is. Oh, it looks like I can take that out. Um, but, 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 the cane scimitar from the Druid regions is designed to ferment spicing force. Touching material greatly enhances the material's power, but doesn't add as much durability. Oh, right. These are decent because they add a lot of attack damage. But I don't know if I actually want it. <laughs> oh, but durability's up. Hmm. Well then, let's. Um. Ugh. I need another slot, man. I don't want to get rid of the fuse recycling. I don't want to get rid of that, or that, or that, or that. <laughs> Maybe I don't need this. Or... Yeah, cause that's just the toss. We don't need the toss. The ice effect is nice, but we can put that on something else. That's okay. 
There's the leader. I didn't expect that to move over. To the Chichim. <laughs> I'm going to the Chichim train. It's it. Amiibo functionality. <laughs> but I don't have an amiibo. I don't know what to do with them. It's fine. Yes, you who have the power and bring peace to the land and whatever. Here you go. Hope it helps. Excellent. All right. I think we are out of here. I think there might be some more up towards the mountains, but for now. Uh, what do I want to do? Oh, I want to go to the forest. I want to see if I can actually get another item slot or not. I might have enough seeds by now. And we can also get a couple hearts here while we're here. And then I want to end with some fashion. I don't actually know what you need for, um... The, uh, die shop. I don't know what if you need like additional materials and stuff too, or what, but we'll see. Sniff, sniff, I smell Korat seeds on you. If you give me Korat seeds out, spend the size of your inventory. So you want more room? Shalaka, which stash should I spend? How about the weapon stash? Shokei, I'll just need 25 Korat seeds. Here we go. Let the expansion begin. It never gets old. Yes, finally. Da na 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 na. It's been a ban ban. Weapon stash. Shakala. Still smoke port seeds on you. Want me to make your pouch even bigger? Well, yes, but I don't have enough. So we'll be going now. Sorry. It's a little shield up there. Hey, you! Give me hearts. Please? Yes, one heart container. Or make that two heart containers. As soon as it applies. Soon. Very soon. It's applied. And now one more. Yes, that's it. A rare item that restores some of the life force you lost to the gloom. Increasing your maximum number of hearts by one. Go and bring peace to the world. So, if you're behind on the news, little statue, I kind of already defeated Ganon. I know he's probably back now because I like loaded in again, but I kind of, I kind of did it. Still, I appreciate the help. Okay, um, Hatino. These shrines are here. Oh, right, the lab. To Hatino Dai Shop. We go!
soon. We have so much stuff, it's gotta load it all now. There's too much. Too much. Beep. This looks like the die shop. I see many paints. No lizard. <laughs> I was not fast enough one. I don't know what was happening. Hey. Just like, yeah, you know, maybe you we'll would go through the front like the civilized person. <laughs> or will we? <laughs> Why is this here? I haven't really seen anything. Ah, oh, nice. Is it vanilla or modded? <laughs> I scared him. Take this. Oh, got him. Mine. <laughs> oh, Sunny doesn't look very happy. Someday, the second store. Oh, oh, hi. Welcome to Toshi Dye Shop. I've seen you before, right? You're regular with us. Well, not really. I mean, in my book, anyone who shows up more than once counts as a regular. Uh. Anyway, you know the drill. My hubby's the dyer around here, not me. Well, this activity's getting to be a problem. I mean, I'm grateful to see that her shop is taking off like this, but every day is so exhausting now. Ah, vanilla. Excellent. Very nice. Very nice, Ducky. Oh, that's right. This is why I don't go to the dye shop. I don't like looking at this guy. <laughs> he kind of creeps me out. <laughs> if you were looking to add some color to your wardrobe, you found the right place. Who do you do? <laughs> Welcome to Tochi Dye Shop, where we live to die. <laughs> Dying clothes to the color of your choice of reworking paragliders with some new cloth. Either way, it'll take just 20 rupees. Um, how about the paraglider? <laughs> Is this your first time making a parrot lighter, is it? Or reworking a parrot lighter? Don't worry, I'll do all the work. You just hand over the fabric and leave the rest to me. Hey! <laughs> so what fabric do you have in mind for a parrot lighter rework today? Um... Oh. Err. The sword fabric is kind of pretty. I like the Gerudo one too. The Torque one's cute. Mm. I like that one, but I'm not a fan of the colors. That one's too scary. I don't like that guy. <laughs> I'm not a fan of the mushrooms. Let's do. Let's do that one. Oh, he wants rupees. If you part with that one, then slip me 20 rupees and we'll get started. <laughs> Thanks for the business. This won't take a moment. No watching paint dry for you. Oh. Oh my. Sure. Studying the fabric. Ready to launch? <laughs> That'll do her. Looking forward to her next visit. <laughs> now go out and paint the town red. <laughs> oh. Sent me to this guy. Wow. Oh, the quest. <laughs> hey, I got a figure to sure. add. It's not enough for me to just be work with fabric you bring me. I want to dye my hand and make it my own patterns. Just like Shisi. Of course, hers are all original design. And making fabrics from scratch seems like a lot of hard work. That's where Hugh comes in. Could you cast around some reference material I could use as inspiration? <laughs> First, I'm thinking I want to see visuals of that monster they call Choo Choo. That kind of Choo Choo is everywhere, even outside the village, when I'm too paint hearted to get near them. I think if I could see a regular Choo Choo for myself, not a fire Choo Choo or ice Choo Choo, it would help a lot. Oh. Okay. 
Is there a, is there a, is there an outfit I want to redye? I die this. What about these? See, <laughs> are all. If you're not a pigment of my imagination, you must be a customer. <laughs> Dying cloak to the color of your choice. If you're compared to some new cloth, you as well just take 20 rupees. Hey. Dye these clothes. Now then, I can either dye your clothes or remove the dye from some dyed dye to return to the original colorway. Please <laughs> dye. Uh, uh, my clothes. My, please dye my clothes. Wonderful. Now do wait up there. I'll wait just a minute. Another great day to dye that whole outfit all at once. Alright, choose your dye color. Go ahead and change clothes. Choose sure. the color. We wear some clothes that actually can't dye. Is that okay? Okay. Oh. Which dye would you like to use? I don't just the armor the the under armor of this. Well, that's not what I want. Um, let's change the clothes. Well, these guys. Oh, it's so much brighter. Oh. This one you can change. I don't know. Let's make it. No, I actually like the pink best, I think. Which is weird. Because I usually wouldn't go for pink. Hey! But you know what? Choose five ingredients. Choose five ingredients you'd like to use in your dye. I have to use ingredients? Oh, I can use rot salt. <laughs> okay, then. That would be 20 rupees. Hey! Thanks for the business. All right, now hold on to your britches. Um. Um. <gasps> um. <laughs> oh. Beautiful. <laughs> wow, absolutely chromatic. It's downright miraculous what a difference of a new set of duds makes. You're cooking very chic. Do you find this palatable? If you'd like to do a redye, just let me know. This guy does not stop with the puns. Well, thank you, sir. I, uh, I like my drip. I feel very fashionable now. All I need is a mushroom hat. I'll fit right into this village. Excellent. Well then, I think I need to call tonight for stream. Now that I look pretty. <laughs> so I will bid you all adieu. Thank you for joining as always. It was fun to have everyone chatting tonight. Seeing a lot of friendly names and faces in there. And uh, for any lurkers, I appreciate you being here too. And I'll see you next week. Hopefully some longer streams should be a little less busy, I think. Signing off. Have a good night. Ta-ta. Bye-bye.